Y'all want to get out of my crick? My God, get a job or something. I can't have any. Good morning, welcome back. It's Mike. It's uh, Friday, 17 May 2019. We're at Standing Stone State Park, about 110, 20 miles northeast of Nashville. And uh, we're going to see what we can see. It's about, it's not quite 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, sunrise wouldn't have been much count because these high hills around us would have eclipsed the sun coming up on the horizon. So effective sunrise is probably in the next 10 or 15 minutes. And we'll hope the uh, angle of the sun is still low enough to give us some nice raking light across anything we might see of interest. So let's walk. Can you see me now? Ooh, ooh, ooh. There you go, that's what you want. I'm gonna walk up the road here. It's a pretty steep little climb, as you can probably see. And um, get above this old dam here. Guess you can rent paddle boats. Water's a little scummy. Looks pretty good after it passes over the spillway, but where it's bunched up there, it's kind of scummy looking. Eee. Looks to be a little path here. Remember that timber rattler from last week's video? <laughs> Path is a little rocky. At least it's not wet and slick. Let's see if we can't keep our ankles and knees intact here. When we get down to the level of the water. Let's see what we see. Wonder where that little path goes. Hmm. Let's go this way. Ooh, it's shaking. Can you see it's shaking? Lord. A lot of small inhalable insects flying around. subtle stench of some kind of rot going on. What's it look like up there, I reckon? This spillway with the lights from the sun cresting the hill behind me starting to starting to gently caress the stonework that makes up the spillway. Let's see if we can line a couple of components up and get a nice composition out of this.
I don't know if I like that or not. Let me look down here a little bit more. Oh, much better. Much better. The thing you want to avoid is tangencies where things are so close together as to look like an accident in their proximity. So up a little bit more here. Not much. Sweet. All right. Let's show you what I'm seeing. Maybe that's better. Now let's see if the uh, polarizer helps us in any way. I don't think it's going to because the light's right over that shoulder there. Now this is an exciting view for you. I've got a good bracket here. That's going to let me blend the exposures between the shadows here, this side of this stone lights of the water as it comes down the spillway there. I'll put it on the screen here in a minute and show it to you. At some point right in here, my Tascam voice recorder departed control flight. Uh, not sure it was operator error. There's a there's a minuscule chance that's what happened, but uh, we're st we're still we're still investigating the incident. So I'm walking out here to see if I can uh, further chase these two ladies out of my creek. Apparently, they don't realize who I am, uh, and I'm going to see if I can find a place to put the tripod to look up the stream towards the spillway and uh, have a composition. Look at me looking through my fingers there like it's a lens. I'm very, very, very experienced. And so what I'm going to tell you with my wily, crafty veteran eye, I'm going to turn and point out the foreground interest in the shot. That big rock! So I walk out here, camera's mounted on the pod, hoping not to test the weather sealing of the Fujifilm GFX 50S camera because frankly I don't want to buy another one. That would be a whole new motorcycle if I had to buy that again. And so I squat down here and I'm looking and I'm, I'm talking about exposure and f-stops and shutter speeds and ISOs and blah 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 and it just goes on and on and on and it's like watching grandfather eat ice cream it's 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 just not that entertaining at any rate I I can't charm you with my silver tongue palaver because as I said the Tascam shite the bed on this one so we're looking and we're looking and we're looking and uh, eventually I decide I'm gonna do um, three exposures of the scene at the same um, aperture but we're going to use three um, different shutter speeds because I am going to, oh, horror of horrors, attempt to do an HDR exposure on these these next two photos I'm going to show you. I'm set up for the second one now. I just jumped over there miraculously. I'm going to come get the uh, camera here so I can show you what I'm what I'm seeing up, up the stream. At any rate, getting back to HDR, some people don't like them. I don't see what the problem is. I like to do them every once in a while to keep my hand in. Um, they're not very fashionable, but at some point in the future, near or far, they will again become fashionable, and um, everybody will want to do them and sing their praises. And if you don't know about HDR, this high dynamic resolution, and, and basically it, allows, it lets you uh, extend your dynamic range on your image and pull more detail in the highlights and the shadows both. And uh, you'll see when I put them up here, they're they're you have to wrangle them a little bit so they don't get too weird looking too HDRE as people say um, but I like them when they're I like them when they're handled with a with a gentle gentle touch 
just going through the motions here, trying to figure it out, trying to be gregarious as I run these numbers through my mind. It's a lot like juggling, which I don't do well. At any rate, we'll, we'll pull out of here in just a minute, and I'm going to uh, show you the result of what we were able to shoot. Try this over there with the stones on. Not so deep. Fowler's got nothing to do with it. Not wanting to ride 110 miles back home with a wet ass has everything to do with it.